Big changes are in store for tomorrow's Mifflin Street Block Party. And the future of the 43-year-old tradition is in jeopardy. News 3's Mark Lovacott has a look at what's in store and what has gone wrong in years past, Mark. Yeah, guys, well, many people forget really how this block party got started. It was 1969, and the event turned violent as police rushed in to disperse the crowd. That riot lasted days, and our current mayor, Paul Soglin, was arrested in the process. It's been a roller coaster ride of ups and downs over the last four decades, but it has seen big changes. The block party started about 11 that morning and uh, turned into a full scale riot when the Madison police showed up. It was a social political movement that turned peaceful in the years following that rough start. It has turned again, though, to this. I've been drinking a little bit. A party fueled by booze and then violence. Last year was a rough one. 1996 was a turning point when things started heading in that direction. The 96 block party was very troublesome. From basically 97 to the present, uh, it's been a challenge. They're not giving them anything to do. It's supposed to be about having fun. Chris Williams says he led security for a sponsored Mifflin Street block party back in 1994. It was a great year. It was a successful party. William says the annual party needs organization, an official promoter, he says. That has not been an easy task, as several have backed out in previous years. William says it would be a shame to end this huge Madison tradition. I really don't think it can go back to what it once was. Mayor Sanglin says the event has evolved too much and something needs to change. And I saw some of these kids in the condition that they were in. I mean, it's life-threatening, the amount of alcohol they're consuming. Last year's event was sponsored, you might remember, and the result still not good with three stabbings. Sanglin says he's giving it one more chance, though, with the more traditional structure that he says has worked in the past. The street will not be closed off and booze must stay on private property. In all, the city is spending $160,000 on security and safety for tomorrow's block party. Well, let's hope for the best and yeah. see how it goes. Mark, thanks a lot. Sure.